Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking our first shot, which is called as a warm-up shot. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kush, we haven't even started learning anything in this course. So how can we take our first shot? Well, that's perfectly fine. We'll be actually using the automatic mode of the camera to take this warm-up shot. And this shot is just to get you comfortable with your camera. Once we take this shot, I assure you that you'll feel much more confident and comfortable around your camera. That's the whole reason why I have decided to make this video before we actually start with the course. So I'll be showing you these settings on the Canon and the Nikon cameras. But if you have any other brand, these settings will be pretty much similar. Okay, so in order to take our first shot, the first thing is that we need to apply some initial settings on our cameras. So let's take a closer look and see what these settings are so that we can apply them. If you have a Nikon camera, the first setting you need to apply is to use the automatic mode using the mode dial on top. Select auto from there. Even though in this course, we'll ultimately be focusing more on the manual mode, right now just select auto just for learning purpose. The next thing you need to do is to select the focus mode on your lens. You'll see a switch which says A and M, that stands for autofocus and manual focus, which we'll be seeing later what it is. But right now select autofocus or A. The last thing you need to do is to select live view. Live view just means seeing everything on your LCD screen. There's another way of shooting, which is called as viewfinder shooting, that we'll be seeing later on. Right now, just look for the button called LV and select live view so that you can see everything on your screen and it's easier to follow this course. If you have a Canon camera, you'll be doing the same things. Select the auto mode by selecting the A with the square on your mode dial. Then select the autofocus mode on your lens. And finally, activate live view by clicking the button which has a camera on it. Now all these buttons and settings may differ if you have a different camera, but ultimately the overall procedure will remain the same. That's great. Now we've applied these settings on our camera and we're all set to take this warm-up shot. Now I'm going to be using this coffee mug to demonstrate how to take this shot. Of course, you can use any object or prop that you can find in your house to take the shot. So let's take a closer look and see how to do this exercise. So we have this coffee mug in front of us. Let's shoot this. So let's get your camera. Now, of course, before you can do anything else, you have to switch on the camera. So press the on button. Make sure your battery is in. Once the camera switches on, make sure it's on the automatic mode, just as discussed before. Make sure the lens is set to autofocus mode. And of course, make sure that you're on live view. Once that's the case, we're ready to take the shot. So let's take a closer look on our LCD screen. What you'll see is a square focus point. A focus point tells your lens where exactly to focus on the shot. So whatever subject you have, for example, the subject in this case is the coffee mug. You have to make sure that this focus point lies or touches that subject. You can actually move around this focus point using the keypad on the right. You may even have a touch screen on your camera if you have a newer model. To start the focusing process, half press the shutter button you'll hear a beep when the lens achieves focus. Now, complete the shot by pressing the shutter button all the way down. To see your shot again, you can press the review button. And a good habit to develop is to always zoom into your shot just to make sure that your subject is sharp and that you achieved your focus correctly. Now, one of the things that can happen on the automatic mode is that when you half press your shutter button to start the focusing process, the flash may go up. This is not a problem because this won't happen ultimately when we learn the manual mode. But even right now, you can select the next mode, which is automatic without flash to solve this problem if you don't want the flash to pop up. That's great. I want to congratulate you because you've taken your first warm up shot. I know that was easy because we were on the automatic mode, but still, all big things, all big journeys start with a small step 
and you've just taken that small step. Right, so from now on, things will get more challenging and more fun. So I'll see you in the next part where we'll actually begin the process of learning DSLR photography.